Hi, Elisa George from CenterWorks.com with today's Pilates fitness tip. Today I want to show you my version of swimming done slowly with the emphasis on gait. When we walk or run, there's a natural stride length and a swing with the arms that should happen that helps really strengthen the whole posterior oblique system through the back of our bodies. And when we have super tight hip flexors or we wear shoes that don't help us walk very well, things like flip-flops, or we, as we get older, our stride shortens. And when we start walking with, with shorter steps, we start losing the extension and the strength work that we need in the back of the body. So practicing my swimming version here um, slow with the arms down low by the sides is a great way to help reinforce what you should be feeling when you walk and you run. The posterior oblique system that I mentioned that is the kind of an X chain through the back of the body for, for strength goes from the hamstring to the glute over to the opposite side of the lower back and then that same side through the upper back, the lat and the shoulder. So you're working on strengthening that chain through the back of the body in a long diagonal as you alternate from doing one side on swimming to the other. So that's really what I want you to focus on while you're doing the exercise is feeling that hamstring, then the glute, the opposite side of the lower back, the same side of the lat, and probably a little bit through the upper back of the arm. We tend to do so much stuff with the body in front of us and we can see what we're doing when we're in front of us, but we can't see as well when we're doing things behind us. So the best place to practice getting comfortable with this is laying down flat on the floor. Um, I'm going to be up on my Cadillac because I don't have to get down so far, but if you're doing this at home, you can just do it flat on the floor or on a mat. So what you want to do is lay down on your stomach with the legs together and the tip of the nose on the floor. You want to be careful that you don't lay your forehead down because then your neck's not in its natural curve and if you sit your chin down your head's still not in very good alignment. So be sure you just have the tip of the nose on the mat. Your arms are going to go down by your sides and as you start your shoulders might be rounded forward a little bit just to help maintain the natural curves of your back as you get started. From this position you want to lengthen your tail down towards your heels, pull up your abdominals just a little bit and firm and reach the legs away from you. Then you're going to start with the back of the thigh, use the hamstring, the glute, over to the opposite side of the back and then lift through the upper back and the arm to feel the whole back through that X working. And then lower the leg and the arm back to your side to go on the other leg, hamstring, glute, opposite side of the lower back, shoulder pulls down, lat works, upper back of the arm works, and back down. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. Inhale to lift, you might notice your chest reach out in front of you a little bit, exhale and lower. Ideally both hips and both shoulders stay level and even while you're lifting the arm and the leg. And every time you come back down, you want to be sure that you pull your abdominals up and in for a little bit extra low back support. Inhale and reach. Exhale and lower. One more time. Reach. And lower. Good. Anytime you finish an extension exercise, you always want to stretch your back the other way. If you have good knees, you can sit back into a child's pose. If your knees aren't so hot, I'd lay down on your back, grab under your knees, and hug your knees into your chest for a stretch. The farther behind you, you can lift the leg up to the back, keeping both hips even on the floor, the better. That lifting through the back is really helping you to find the muscles that should be working as you take a longer step when you're walking or running. And that's going to actually help propel you forward faster for your other fitness workouts. So I hope you've enjoyed this slow swimming exercise today. Practice, yeah, I would do hmm, five to ten repetitions on each side. This is something that you could do, incorporate into other workouts, or it is a mat work exercise, so you can incorporate it into your mat work exercise workouts when you're doing that. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.